first or I always I even started wearing jeans out and it's like a no no because you get so sweaty dancing in the happy with yeah. jeans on but I'm keeping my coochie safe <laughs> yeah because then they'll probably just like stick their finger oh yeah like really <gasps> quick you know like imagine if you're dancing and like uh, they grab your butt like it's so oh, easy to just no. go in from that yeah. yeah I'm an angry person I do not like being touched like I don't either like not if you're not welcome like if yeah. I don't if I don't give you permission mm-hmm. then no it's like don't even go there because you're yeah, right it's like you touches. can't yeah you just don't even know it's like we're can you imagine that like they're touching they're touching other people and they're yep. like going Drinks, you know like just jumping around yeah tables grounds doors that's uh, just crazy. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. And it's, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? Do you know if guys do the same thing? Like uh, gay guys? Or yeah, just gay like, guys. Yeah, because my cousin's gay, so I <laughs> I know all of their little thingies. They're definitely pretty aggressive. I've even seen it, like, I think what's the the two-story one is Rage in WeHo. Uh-huh. Um, it's, like, across the street from the Abbey. Like, well, we went upstairs, and it's, like, a circle of circle thing like the dance floor is like a like almost like a racetrack and like i'm standing there next to him and the next thing i know this guy just comes up and is like has his hands on the bar and then they start making out and i was like whoa and then then they're gone and i'm like wow it's just like (laughs) then he comes back and it happens again like over throughout the night like they just keep switching partners and i'm like oh my god i guess that's why the girls are so aggressive maybe because it's like normal in that environment but i mean maybe i'm out maybe i'm out of the maybe i'm the wrong person in the environment to where i'm like oh no 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 not me not me <laughs> don't tag me <laughs> that's like just crazy uh-huh i've that- never done that i don't think even with guys that i like like i've never just like just kissed a guy you know like usually like I've, you have to get like that eye contact thing yeah. going for a little while i've never just been like yeah <laughs> you know what i actually to say that i don't kiss mm-hmm. unless it's uh unless like we're pretty like if we're dating it's mm-hmm. been a while mm-hmm. then i'll kiss like if we just started going out i won't kiss you like i have to really kind of get to know you mm-hmm. and feel really comfortable because yeah. I, I just think it's like really personal yeah so i won't go there and then especially like if you're a guy where i'm just kind of hit it on just hitting it on the side where you're just like strictly there for one reason for just one yeah. purpose <laughs> I won't kiss him and I won't, hey. and I, yeah, and I'm just, and I make it clear to the guy and I was like, I tell him, there's no kissing. I was like, sorry, but there's no kissing. There's no hugging. There's no cuddling and there's no oh. spending the night. Cuddling is like my number one thing that I hate doing with people. I'm like, do you know hot? Yeah. It's just like, I don't know. I don't find it romantic at all. It's so hot. And then a body on top of your body, your <laughs> arms falling asleep, like that yeah. whole thing. I'm like, oh no, man. Please stop. <laughs> and then you're going to think I don't like you because I don't want to cuddle. But yeah. like, oh, my God, you're it's and it just barely changed from summer to like it's now it's hot. now it's like, yeah, it was so hot, like a hundred and something degrees. No, let's please not cuddle. <laughs> yeah. No, it's yeah. just it gets too hot and you get. Yeah. Like your skin just uh, gets sticky. Yeah. Ew, that like line of sweat like ew. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> it's crazy. So, you know, I'm going to go over through with you. Um, I was looking at like some of these, um, like, you know, some of these like surveys and studies that they have. Okay. So guys, yeah. where do you guys find your, like your articles from? Do you, which site do you guys look at to find out anything about women? If you want to know what we like, what we don't like, the things that are important, not important, like where do you guys get your sources from? I know a lot of you do it from, you know, obviously, uh, from different radio shows, you know, where you have someone that's giving you advice, Mm -hmm. but also like, what do you do? You know, do you do like your own research? I think that a lot of you guys go to Cosmo because I always hear guys like, well, Cosmo said, and I'm like, what the fuck did Cosmo say? (laughs) You know, and I, so I know a lot of guys like do Cosmo. So Mm -hmm. I went to Cosmo and it, so one of the articles it has here, it's like 10 simple things all women want in bed. And I want to go through with these with you, Anna, to oh, see please. if how you feel, like let's answer them. And then I also want you guys to let us know if you don't have, you don't have to have like 10 things. If you guys only have five things and let us know your, your five things, it doesn't have to be sexually. It could just be anything like any simple little thing not even being physical, Mm -hmm. you know, so let us know the important things when it comes to you. So according to this article on Cosmo, it says a partner invested in my pleasure too. Hmm. Um, It says a woman is not your hand. 
a flashlight or any other uh, masturbatory aid. Don't just use her body till you orgasm and then roll over and assume she had a great time too, <laughs> because that's not how it works. Being a good partner is about putting in equal effort. You don't want to be the person who bailed on the group project all semester. Just swoop in and take credit for the A at the oh, end. Right. So how do you feel about that? I definitely agree. I will <laughs> I will get like a I will put like a little curse hex on your life if you, <laughs> if you get your dick sucked and you nut and you fall asleep or like you're you're done and I'm like oh no, I've been such a little little devil lately that yeah. I'm like I make sure that I get mine first. You know, like I'm like you're not going to get me. <laughs> you know what? It's so true, you know, cuz a lot of guys you know what, men, keep it real. Like, you know that you guys fall asleep very easily. So like quickly. if you're really tired uh-huh. and then you get pleasure, you're completely knocked out in a matter like of seconds. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's true. Like I would do the same thing. I would get mine first. I would be like, you know what? Why don't you go down on me first? And then, you know, I'll do it to you. Right. I think I had, <laughs> I, you know what? I, I kind of, I think I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember like, who was it? I think I might've had a guy like an ex who he started to go down on me because he was so tired Mm -hmm. and then he kind of like ended up like falling asleep that's so funny and I was like what the hell and I was like and I was thinking to myself I was like thank freaking god I didn't do anything and he was he was actually a boyfriend you Mm -hmm. know we like we were like that comfortable already where he was kind of tired and you know he wanted sex but he was kind of you know um he was like you know well yeah well maybe if you get on top and I was like oh hell no I was like, oh. you go down first, yeah. and if you get me off when you go down, and then I'll get on top. Oh, that's you know? nice. Because <laughs> normally, like, I like to get on top, but this particular instance, I was like, no, I need to get mine first. Right, not today. <laughs> yeah, because I knew he was falling asleep, and I was like, no, I was like, I'm going to come. <laughs> the last thing you want to do, imagine if you were on top and he fell asleep. I think I would be a little bit more madder. That happened to kinda, me. Oh man, you're kind of like shaking them <laughs> yeah. the whole time. So it's like, oh man, you fell asleep, but I'm shaking it. <laughs> you know what's so funny is uh-huh. that that happened with an ex boyfriend of mine, and I think it's the same guy that fell asleep. Oh, he's just a sleepy. <laughs> so okay, so this guy. Okay, so this is the guy that you know I had never ever had a one night stand ever, mm-hmm. and my purpose was I was like, you know what, I've never had a one night stand. I'm gonna go to Vegas. Have a one night stand nice. just so I could experience it and uh-huh. see what it's like. So my girlfriend and I went and we went with that mission, to, you know, she, to find me a one night stand. Uh-huh. So we go out to this club and I spot the guy and I was like, that's him. I want him tonight. Like he's going to be my one night stand. Uh-huh. So I went up to that's him. So <laughs> <laughs> I was like talking to him all night and I told him, I said, you know what? I said, look, I've never had it. And you're the guy that I picked. Mm-hmm. I go, you're going to be my one night stand tonight. Turns out that I had no idea unbeknownst to me. He had been drinking all night and I didn't even know because he didn't seem drunk or anything. Right. He was mm-hmm. okay. But until like we left, when we left the club, because, you know, like they, we were there to like they closed. Right. So we're walking out. Then that's when I was like, oh, shit, I think he's kind of drunk. Uh huh. So then that's when I started seeing like the, the signs. Of yeah. The and I was like, oh, I was like, this is not good. Mm-hmm. So we go back to his room mm-hmm. and. Uh, OK, so mistake number one, I should have <laughs> known. I should have just like walked out. You know, so when we were, so we go back to his room, Uh he, it took him forever to like find a condom. Oh man. He must've scrambled through like his drawers. Like he literally, like his drawers were upside down. Wow. He like opened up his safe. He opened everything and he couldn't. Finally, I was like, you know what? Maybe I need to go. Cause you know, maybe you don't have one. Mm -hmm. And he finally ended up finding one. So then I get on top. And the crazy thing is that he was hard the entire time. Mm Mm-hmm. He was like really, really hard and I was on top. And then like in the middle of it, I was like, wait, I was like, he fucking fell asleep. Oh, And I was like, what the fuck? So you know what I did? I Mm -hmm. was like, you know what? I was like, "Mm -mm." I was like, I I can't even get myself off. Not even to be selfish. I was like, "Mm, no, because in the morning, you're not going to remember that I fucked you really good. Right. And I'm like, I'm not going to waste my time like that. Right. So I left. Mm -hmm. So what I did, I was nice enough to like, you know, take the condom off, Mm -hmm. throw it in the trash Mm -hmm. and I just left, Uh you know, so then I, and I left my number, you know, so I left my business card (laughs) (laughs) 
and I and I was he fell asleep, so I left.、Mm-hmm. So of course, like he was like just ferociously like looking for me, like it just you know he just was trying to get a hold of me, and then finally he was calling the wrong number. He was calling like the office number. Oh wow! And then when it finally occurred to him to like call the cell,、mm-hmm. he got a hold of me, and I was literally. I was actually like leaving already、mm-hmm. to the airport. I was on my way to the airport,、uh-huh. and he was like begging me to stay. He's like, "Please, please, please!" He's like, "I need you to stay." He's like, "I really, really want to be the person to give you the one night stand."、Uh-huh. And so finally, I was like,、oh. "I was like, you know what?" I was like, "Fuck it!" I was like, "Why not?"、Okay. I don't have to be at work until like the morning, so I can just take an early flight out the next day. Right. And that's what I did. You know, we just like went back and.、Um, You know, did the one night stand? Like he took me out to dinner. Like he was like,、Aww. I want to take you out to dinner. He's like, I want this this to be like properly. So、uh-huh. he, he took me out to dinner, and we had the one night stand. That's good. And I remember my girlfriend that had gone with me, like for the sole purpose of like helping me find a one night stand.、Uh-huh. She joined us for di- us for dinner too, because he was like, "You can bring your girlfriend," because he's like, "I feel really bad." Right. She was questioning him the entire time, and I was thinking to myself, "I was like, fuck." I'm like, "He's not a fucking boyfriend. He's just a toy. Like,、right. stop. Like,、uh-huh. you know, questioning him." She kept saying, "Like, do you have a girlfriend? Where's your girlfriend?" He's like, "I don't have a girlfriend."、Uh-huh. But she was doing the kind of questions that your girlfriend would do. If you guys were dating. Yeah, but yeah. I was like, "Shit, I'm not dating him. I just want to fuck." Yes, because I was like, "Can we like hurry up with dinner? Because I'm trying to get back to the room, and I I, I really need to fuck this guy,、uh-huh, right? I mean, he was pretty good before he fell asleep, so right, yeah. And then like he ended up being a boyfriend after that because he was like,、oh, yeah, he was、cute. like, hell no. He's like, I'm not gonna be your one night stand, and he's like, I'm not gonna be your toy because I told him I said, look, if I'm ever in Vegas, you know, or if we ever cross paths, you know, I you could just be my. Whatever、yeah. area code, wherever he lived in,、yeah. I just said, "I go, you could be that area code. I go, you could be that side hoe from that code." That's fun. That's <laughs> funny. Area and, code hoe. Yeah, <laughs> and he was like, he was,、uh, he's like, hell no. He's like, I am not going to be a side hoe, and I'm not going to be the one I stand. He's like, I want a relationship, and I was like,、nah, I'm、Aww. not sure.、Mm. So we ended up seeing each other after like months of him trying to court me.、Mm-hmm. You know, but yeah, that was like that one night stand was like pretty funny because at least he was drunk when he fell asleep, so he gets a pass. You know, yeah. Well, you know what? I gave him a pass only because he came back, and you know, I mean, it didn't turn out to be a one night stand anymore,、yeah. but at least it turned out to be like a you know really good sex, a good time. Yeah, yeah, it was a good time. So I was、That's、like,、good. okay, cool. That's good. Have you ever had like one night stands? I can't say that I just. Like re- met a person and then fuck them.、Mm. No, I mean I feel like kind of like in porn and have like one night stands all the time. You know what? That's true. Yeah, so it's kind of like that, especially when there's been times where I I got the information and I thought it was I thought I read it c- clearly and I didn't and I thought it was a certain person and、yeah. I'm like oh I'm expecting to see this person and another person with a very similar name walks in the door and I'm like oh shit. Oh my god! Now I feel like I showed up on the wrong date, and、yeah. I am gonna fuck them. <laughs> so it's kind of funny, like when I make mistakes and I go meet someone on set, and I'm like, "Oh, hmm, you're not who I googled this morning. Who I thought I was gonna work with? You're somebody else." So what do you do when that happens?、Um, I kind of feel like a jackass a little bit because、yeah. I didn't like it's my bad. Yeah.、Um, and then I kind of like try to like fix it in my brain because I、yeah. had this whole date planned out with somebody else, you know. And then I'm like, okay, so. Now I guess let me like figure out、uh, what's your favorite color. You know, I start kind of like asking weird questions. Like, yeah. Oh, what are your hobbies? Where are you from?、Um, do you like? Do you say fo or do you say fa? You know, like、yeah. <laughs> I just start being a little nerd. It just happened to me with.、Uh, I'm working with Ryan McLean, and I、mm-hmm. thought I was going to work with Ryan Driller. So oh my god, Ryan, he's so cute. He's so cute,、yeah. and like Ryan McLean, I never even like really met him before. Yeah, and I've worked with Ryan like nine times. So I was like telling the director, I was like, "Oh, how funny! You put me and Ryan together. We work together all the time. How cool!" And then he was just kind of like, "Oh yeah." And then so you were thinking Ryan Driller? Yeah. Okay. And then Ryan McLean shows up, and he's sitting there for like thirty minutes before I realize, like, <laughs> "Oh shit, I'm fucking." Your name's Ryan, and then I looked at the the script. <laughs> It says Ryan McLean throughout the whole freaking script, and I was like, "Oh God, damn!、Yeah. I did not read at all." So, but I mean, Ryan McLean's pretty hot too, so I'm not I'm not upset. Have you ever had that、uh, where you think it's someone, but it's not someone else, and that one person that you thought it was, he's like really cute, and、mm-hmm. then the one that turns out to be 
they're like, ugly. Ugly. Yeah. Oh, that I, that happens in real life where I was trying to go out. It was when I was working in a grocery store. Yeah. There was this guy that was like a Coke vendor. And since they like carry all the sodas, like they're super buff. Yeah. So I was like, oh my God. Like for some reason, all of them were cute. All, there was like four dudes. And so I wanted to try. 